make decisions, right? So he's fixated on Peter and the camera. He's fixated on you. He's looking right through the slot between you and that other dog. Watch what happens. I corrected him for his inattention, okay? I didn't use my hands. I didn't create a bunch of drama. You know, yeah, but you did use said, your hands. No, no, yeah. I didn't. Watch what I did. Watch what I did. I used my leg. All right, and again, he's... Move over just a little bit, Peter, so he can look right down the slot. Right, so he's looking at Peter, okay? He's a little bit more aroused, but you look at him. He's looking right in between you at the dog in the crate. That is correct. Good I can lad. see that. Right? He broke off. Because he knew the last time he did that, weird things happen. Watch my hands. My hands don't move until after the correction is made. All I did was shorten the leash. I didn't correct in the left hand turn. So you're. Sit. Good. Make sense? Yeah. This is about being proactive. Right? Mm -hmm. I see where his head is going because I'm watching where these things are pointing. <laughs> right? If he's looking away, I'm correcting to the right. If he's looking across, I'm correcting to the left. Good. No, no. Good. Very nice. Right? Step back a little bit. You ready? And again, I'm just letting him figure out where he's supposed to be. Now he's eye stalking the dog in the crate, right? But watch what happens. When I tense up, he tenses up, right? See how he's fixated already? Yeah. I'm going to send him forward and then again draw his attention back to me without having to use a lot of force. Right? He's already in that zone. Yes. Okay? Uh -uh. Thank you. I'm not moving until what happens? Until you ask him. No, no, I'm not moving in the direction. He wants to get on the table. I'm not moving until he does what? Looks at you. Exactly, right? I'm going to facilitate that process because now he's fixated on the dog. Sit. Good lad. Heel. Count. Here. Good dog. Very nice. Do you see the distinction between the two? Fixate, fixate, fixate. He's ready to charge. Out. Ah, there we go. And basically it becomes easier to control him because he's not in that aroused emotional state. Right? You ready to take over? Yes. Take over. Just take him off the table. Good lad. Tell him to heal. Put your left hand at your navel, not at your butt. There we go. When you, you have to make a left hand turn, you are going to have to use your left hand to pick up the leash. Okay, and again, we don't use our hands to activate that correction, we use our legs. You see how you keep Yankee Yankee? Yeah, but he's ahead of me. I don't know how to keep him not ahead of me. About turn. And again, once you make that right turn, make a series of left turns. So he doesn't think that you're just going to be turning around in, one, in circles, okay? About turn in place, right there. Don't use your hand, just there you go. Except do it with speed. I'm a big old fat thing and I can move faster than that. Come on now. Keep your hand at your side. Stop arcing it away from you. Again, use your leg. This is about speed. See how you keep using that hand? 
Stick your left thumb into your, or your right thumb into your pant pocket. Your, no, your right thumb, right thumb, pant pocket. Now, keep your hand there and just now, if you step forward with your left leg, it's gonna hit, make contact with the leash, right? So step forward and pivot on your right heel. Step left, pivot right. Yes. Now pivot right. Now do that faster. Do it again. Next time he drops his head, do it again. Tell him to sit and then stop moving. Good. No, step forward, there you go. Good. Step forward, heel. Take him to the table, kennel. Kennel. Turn him here. Here. Go here. create drama, sit. See that? Did you die? Did you die? No? Didn't die? Neither did he, right? Here's the thing, when you expect drama, you get drama, okay? When you don't expect drama, drama never comes. So when you continue to drag on that line, you're creating that tension, he doesn't have any place to go mentally, he's got no more bandwidth. He's focusing on whatever it is that's causing that, that tension, okay? The minute you let the leash go and he has to make a decision himself, he's like, oh, okay. Being a dog, I'm gonna err on the side of caution and I'm going to ignore that distraction because it really doesn't affect me or what I'm doing or thinking. Make sense? Yes. Take him off the table, let's do it again. Two seconds. Um, because he gets ahead of me, he doesn't do it with you. No, he doesn't because I gave him an about turn. Here's This is the thing. Okay, so then uh, that's part of my right. program for right. me. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes. It's too early right in the morning. Right Yeah, I've got bit on the forehead, got bit on the hand, I got bit under my legs. Okay, go ahead. My problem, third world problem, or first world problems, whatever. <laughs> Some world problems. Linda Kane problems and her garage problems. Anytime your dog is not engaged in the behavior that you want, we are creating these conditions that teach him that he has to do what he's told to do. So if you say heel, he has a precise heel, okay? But what's happened is you've allowed him to skate ahead without consequence. So what I do is create consequence. If his eyes aren't on me, which is what I'm correcting, you're correcting gross behavior. He's not, in, he's not beside me, he's in front of me. I'm correcting precise behavior. He's not looking at me. And then I correct. Does that make sense? So when we're walking and I see his eyes wander, that's what I'm correcting. I'm not waiting for the gross movement of him moving away from me. I'm correcting the thought so I can perish the deed. Okay, demon. so how are you correcting the thought that, he, and that he's not looking at you? I make an aggressive turn, either okay. to the right okay. or to the so left, or the about turn, yes. Any, when he drops his head, when he's looking ahead and not looking at you, when he's looking to the left, I turn right. When he's looking to the right, I turn left. When he's looking for our head, I'm making the about turn, but I'm making those close quarter corrections with my legs, not my hands, because I don't want my hands to be part of the equation. You start moving your hands, he can see it, right? If he's not paying attention to the leg because he's too far forward, he can't see that. If I just do a dump and run and turn around and head back the way I came, it's gonna catch him completely off guard. That's why you keep hearing me shout, speed, 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 right? When you make those turns, they're a snap. I'm a big old fat thing, I weigh almost 300 pounds, and I move really fast in close quarters because I want the dog to understand his job is me. It's not the ground, it's not the truck tire, it's not the dog in the crate, it's not the bunny out there by bunny land, right? It's me, this leg, this side of my anatomy when we're at heel, the front of me when we're coming in for the recall. Make sense? Yes. Okay. Turn that off for a sec. I need to give it a break. You ready? <laughs>